Hello everybody, my name is Raccoon Bro, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are doing yet another death battle reaction. And today we are watching Ganondorf versus Dracula. The first episode of Death Battle I'm reacting to where I am at least somewhat familiar with one of the characters. So that's a plus. I am a very huge Zelda fan. Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite games of all time. Skyward Sword is one of the first games I've ever played. And the other games have simply been a blast to go through to see how the well, entire franchise has started and to see how the games have evolved. Every Zelda game has something to set themselves apart from each other. But most of them do have one recurring element. That is the final fight with Ganondorf. Thrown at the, thrown in at the last second as he generally doesn't appear until the very end. But, you know, some traditions never die, I guess. But this time, he is going to be fighting the legendary vampire, Dracula. Specifically the version from Castlevania. So, no Bram Stokers or ones from the 1930s here. Th but uh, from what I've gathered, even though I've never played a Castlevania game before, it seems like Dracula's probably got this one in the bag. I know I said that before with Sasuke vs. Kie, but I'm pretty certain about this one. Since everybody's saying that Dracula is super powerful, Ganondorf doesn't really have much going for him in terms of in, in terms of countering that. I know last time he won because of the whole holy weapons or ordeal, but hopefully they won't go down that route again like they did with Bowser versus Ganon. Although I will say, no matter what happens, I'm very excited for this episode since it's going to be their first SFM episode. They're going to be collaborating with three very well-known animators, Devil Artemis, Duvad Hoden, and Dai Tamagotchi. And, or did I say Tai Tamagotchi? Tai Tamagotchi? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll get it right later. But these three are very talented SFM animators, and I'm lo very much looking forward to their work on this episode. So, with all that being said, let's get in to the video. Uh. By the way, I checked it, and it is indeed pronounced Dai Tamagotchi. So, I was pretty close. Alright, with that being said, let's get into the video. Fame may be fleeting, and wealth ephemeral, but true Exhale. evil never dies. It just comes back with a goddamn second health bar! Ganondorf, <laughs> the calamitous demon king of Princess Zelda's Hyrule. And Dracula, the everlasting vampire lord of Castlevania. Nice. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. This is technically a Smash Brothers fight since Dracula's a boss. Millennia ago, in an age long past, the Demon King Demise threatened to pull the world into blood and war. Until he got his ass slapped by this pointy-eared boy in green. Love Undaunted that by being you know, murdered, Demise cursed the blood of the goddess and the spirit of the hero to be forever haunted by his wrath made flesh. That curse became Ganondorf Dragmire. Good old Dorf was Dragmire. born to the Gerudo tribe of the desert. Thing is, the Gerudo were all ladies and Ganondorf was the first male born in a hundred years, which automatically made him their king. Because reasons, I guess? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, so he gets to be in charge and has the best odds on Tinder? That's <laughs> my dream come true. Who could first, want more? First male Ganondorf born in could. Years. Jealous of the neighboring kingdom of Hyrule's verdant fields, clean water, and not being a godforsaken desert, uh, he dreamed of a better world for his people. Or, you know, just for himself. Being the reincarnation of ultimate evil means you're probably kind of a selfish douche. And surprisingly, his vile ambitions would be rewarded. Whoa. Turns out, he was also preternaturally adept at magic, before. as befits an education from his caretakers, the witches Kurume and Kotake. From them, Dorf learned to pitch balls of electricity, summon lightning, move objects with telekinesis, levitate, form barriers, and control minds. When he wishes to fight from a distance, he can create phantom horsemen or puppets of himself to battle as his proxies. Or if he wants to get personal, he can use his dark magic to enhance his so physical strength, making him a badass sword. at all ranges. He's a master with a About blade, sometimes two, and sometimes on horseback. And sometimes two swords on two horsebacks? Uh, well, let's not get crazy. He was just a man, after all, though not for long. With his magical training complete, Ganondorf put his greatest skill to the test. 
his raw cunning. By manipulating the rulers of Hyrule and its neighboring domains, as well as a curiously familiar boy in green. Hey, what do you know? Weird coincidence. Ganondorf Every gained entry to an alternate dimension called the Sacred Realm. Within it lay the Triforce, a magical artifact left by the gods said to grant the wish of whomever touches it. The perfect solution to all your world-conquering needs. Except once Ganondorf got his hands on those golden Doritos, two of them jumped ship. See, only someone with a perfect balance of courage, wisdom, and power can wield the complete Triforce. Mm. If someone with an imbalance between those three virtues touches it, it splits. In this case, the pieces of wisdom and courage went to Ganondorf's enemies, Princess Zelda and the hero Link. Ah, oh, that's embarrassing. But he did get to keep the Triforce of Power, because who needs the courage and wisdom shit when you can just blow stuff up? Yeah. Even on its own, the Triforce of Power radically improved Ganondorf's strength and magical prowess, while also elevating him from a mere warlock to the Demon King he was always meant to be. Jesus Christ. Literally, he can turn into a big blue pig monster. The Dark Beast, known simply as Ganon, is a nearly unstoppable terror, gaining even greater strength without sacrificing any of his intellect. As a bacon wizard, he can obliterate foes with fireballs, oh turn invisible, teleport, summon darkness, and even distort the space around him. Despite all that power and even successfully ruling Hyrule for seven years, Ganondorf was soundly defeated and sealed within the Sacred Realm. There he remained, trapped outside the spaces of reality, <laughs> a prisoner to the space. void between space and time, never to return ever, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. I couldn't keep a straight face. Uh. <laughs> no, he got out like the next day. <laughs> so nothing holds Ganon back for long, and he's insanely tough to kill. In fact, thanks to his part of the Triforce, he's almost indestructible. While most weapons can technically harm him, it usually takes a holy weapon like the Master Sword or Light Arrows to put him down. He once survived being crushed within his own castle, which, based on its size and composition here, and accounting for the hollowed out interior, should weigh over 11,000 tons. Even better, he later withstood a different castle exploding around him. Oh. Wow, what's up with this guy in castle? By measuring the size of the in-game castle model and assuming violent fragmentation, we can determine it was a blast worth almost two kilotons of TNT, a yield comparable to early atomic bombs. What is the And ma even though holy weapons Jeez. can bypass his defenses, he still survived being stabbed in the face with the Master Sword. You know, the literal blade of evil's bane. Or like when he was impaled through the chest by one of the sages after he was supposedly sealed away. He just yanked that shit right out and murdered the bastards that did it to him. Bastards. Uh, heads up, Wiz, you ever stab me again and that's what's happening to you. Right. Well, Ganondorf isn't just tough. He's powerful enough to punch shockwaves, tear up an island, and block out the sky with his magical malice. Plus, he can keep up with Link. He's even killed him in one timeline. <laughs> and this fairy boy can dodge Bemos lasers. Which are literal lasers. They move in a straight line, burn instead of exploding, and according to the game's guidebook, are called lasers. So they should move at light speed. Based on the distance Link moved relative to this beam, we can estimate his own reaction speed to be about 11% the speed of light. Huh. Too bad old Dorf Lundgren doesn't get to hold on to Hyrule for too long. Still, you can stab and seal him away all you want. This big pork bastard will always be back to bring about your crispy demise. Oh, I can't wait demise. for the sequel. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. <laughs> In the world of Castlevania, laugh. the universe is governed by two opposing forces. Order and chaos. Victor. Hey, it's like you and me, Wiz. No, I mean literally. As legend goes, for God to be good, there must be an equal force of evil to create balance. Interesting. An evil found in an alternate dimension called the Chaotic Realm. I should probably watch this that anime. This is chaos. But to keep his spot in the balance on Earth, Chaos needed to choose a Dark Lord to represent him. A Dark Messiah, if you will. Hello, Ken As Cartier. luck would have it, <laughs> a perfect candidate would end up choosing him. In the 11th century, Matthias Kronkvist was the strategic mastermind behind a company of knights, alongside fellow commander and best friend, Leon Belmont. But as with most bromances, it got screwed up by a homance. Oh, Stick have some tact, his wife died from a horrible illness. Was it third wheeling? 
Uh, I'm sorry, Wiz, but you can already tell this guy is evil because his name is Math. I mean, I know we use Math all the time to do this show, but sometimes one must embrace the darkness to see the light. Right. Anyway, Matthias's grief was so intense, he swore vengeance on God himself. To achieve his vengeance, Matthias sought the powers of God's polar opposite, chaos. So he set up an easy six-step plan. Uh, step one, Remember pick up this a red rug you. called the Crimson Stone. It'll be important later. Step two, force death itself to become your personal secretary. Step three, kill, kill Luigi. Luigi. Step four, convince a vampire named Walter to kill Leon's fiance, because misery loves company. Step five, let Leon murder poor Walt and have death shove his soul into that red rug. Step six, congratulations, you are now a vampire. God, kids, I hope you are paying attention. Oh, From I that day forth, that Matthias rejected like his humanity. He became a vampire and much more. He was the Dark Lord, Dracula. Dracula. There have been a lot of different versions of Dracula over Told the ya. years, but this one isn't your run of the mill, I want to suck your blood type. This Dracula is the avatar of chaos on Earth, the opposite to God. So, like, the devil. He, he's basically the devil. Oh he my didn't God! Have what much time doing? to enjoy his new powers, though, as his former friend Leon swore revenge, a vow which would carry on throughout generations. But good luck taking down this all-new and improved vampire lord. He's got your standard vampire loadout like blood sucking, flight, razor sharp claws, telekinesis, and even trip and balls teleportation. He can also exert his influence over all living things, whether it be mind control, body possession, or absorbing the souls and abilities of fallen enemies through his power of dominance. <laughs> oh, like Kirby! A demonic monster Kirby. Right. Kirby. I think Kirby, also, yeah, Dracula Kirby's kind of a demon. Shape shift to his black heart's desire, like into a swarm of bats, a cloud of mist, and a wolf. Oh, I get it. The opposite to God, because he's a dog just like the way Alucard is Dracula backwards. Yeah. God, I should do science. He's also a master sorcerer, able to I summon if that's fireballs, actually planned. meteors, and acid blood rain from the sky. Dark Inferno is a huge ball of magma that will fry anything in its path, and he can revitalize himself with another's life energy via soul steal. Then there's his most powerful attack, Your a localized nuke of mine. holy magic, the demonic Megiddo. With all these powers, it's no wonder Europe trembled at his presence for centuries. Though Whoa. perhaps their fears were unfounded. Yeah, despite being living chaos or whatever, Dracula was sometimes a pretty chill guy. He even got himself married and had a kid. Then again, kids are also the embodiment of chaos. <laughs> Sadly, the people of a nearby church grew suspect of his wife, accusing her of witchcraft. Uh oh. So they burned her at the stake, and Dracula swore vengeance upon the god they followed as. Wait, 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 wait. Did he just get a total repeat of his backstory? Man, this guy can't catch a break. He was even forced to battle multiple descendants of Belmont, <laughs> many of whom would actually defeat him. Well, sort of. Turns out Dracula is a much tougher vampire to kill than lame old Walter. Even after losing his entire body, Dracula's soul remained tethered to chaos. Thus, he would be resurrected every 100 years. When he wants to go <laughs> all out, he can draw from the power of the chaotic realm and transform into one of many awesome monsters. Like a giant demon, a giant demon bird, a giant demon head, and a giant demon head in a painting that vomits out bats. We get it, Dracula you're a giant demon. punch hard enough to rend stone, move quick enough to catch arrows out of thin air, and even warp the fabric of reality itself. He's tough enough to survive a lightning strike, get blasted by an enormous meteor, and even get crushed under the weight of his fortress, a.k.a. THE Castlevania. Hmm. By measuring the size of Castlevania on the game's official art, we know it should weigh around 2 million tons. Even then, Dracula has regenerated his body from decapitation, a mess of blood, and them. even full-on disintegration. So how the hell does he keep getting killed by everyone from Discount Conan to the Ghost of Weeb's past? Naturally, ah. with the help of holy weapons, which Dracula is certainly not a fan of. Also, even when he's turned his body into some misty vape clouds, he keeps his head vulnerable. Because video games. Hmm. Or more precisely, his hubris. Dracula's blatant arrogance would lead to his ultimate downfall, allowing his enemies to sever his connection to the chaotic realm and thus end his cycle of resurrections. So instead, he was reincarnated into a white-haired anime boy with the power of friendship, what? Soma Cruz. 
who turned out to be just as powerful as Dracula Classic. Huh. Like when he dodged beams of light, or when he defeated chaos itself. Dracula's influence and power would never truly end. Even 10,000 years into the future, his bloodline continues to strike terror into the hearts of men. As long as good and evil exist... Hold up! That's his kid? What the hell happened to him? Ahem, no ordinary man can stand up to the incredible force that is I'm the Dark Lord Dracula. I am so confused, guys. I have no idea who's gonna win this. They both seem unkillable at this point. I... I guess I'm still gonna go all for Dracula right, based on what everyone's set, been saying, and we run but the data through all possibilities. I don't, it's I'm time for gonna, a death battle. I'm gonna be very confused on this one. They just both keep coming back. I really liked the music in this fight, so I'm looking forward to the full version. I could have sworn for the longest time that Ganondorf was voiced by Prozy D in this. Oh well. Your castle is lost, vampire. No man can challenge my power. <laughs> but what is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. I'm no Hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, that face. Your tricks mean nothing. Whoa. Oh uh, man, this is a perfect fight for October. I am loving the visual effects on this one. This has got Duvad written all over it. Like if you've ever seen his My Hero Academia Smash series, you'll know what I'm talking about. Oh, damn. Not, a, not good enough. Oh. Oh, oh my god <laughs> Is this it? Oh! <laughs> I knew there was gonna be a castle explosion.
Oh my god, dude, that was brutal. KO! <sighs> you know, I hope someday I can learn to drink beers as violently as Dracula drinks people. There was a lot going on here. Both Ganondorf and Dracula show similar reaction speeds, with only a small percent difference when compared to the speed of light. They were both brilliant schemers who have perfectly manipulated many intelligent foes, and their standard magical arsenals seem pretty comparable overall. But Dracula did have a leg up with a few extra magic powers that Ganondorf just didn't have. Like how he could rip out his soul in a bunch of different ways. That's something Ganondorf never really had to guard against before. <laughs> also, remember how Ganondorf survived an explosion worth about two kilotons of TNT? An admirable feat to be sure, but let's look at that meteor strike Dracula survived. Based on its size, composition, and speed of ablation, it must have struck with an energy equivalent to two megatons of TNT. Yeah, there you 1, go. One thousand times greater than Ganondorf's proven durability. Hmm. But hey, I know what you're thinking. What about that sage sword Ganondorf had? Shouldn't he have had an easy time killing Drax since it's a holy weapon? In some circumstances, sure. Running this fight over and over a hundred times, Ganondorf would certainly score a few victories. But when considering Dracula's absurd regenerative abilities, it would take more than just a few hits from a holy weapon to finish him off. Not to mention, Dracula also wielded a holy weapon that took advantage of Ganondorf's weakness in the form of Demonic Megiddo. Yeah, I know it's called Demonic, so it seems weird, but it is explicitly described to be holy magic. Hmm. And dropping a holy nuke on Ganondorf was a way more powerful victory move than trying to hit Dracula with a sword. Yeah. And that's really what this came down to. Power. Despite literally wielding the Triforce of Power, Ganondorf's potential paled in comparison to the energy Dracula drew from Chaos. Let's put this in perspective. The Triforce of Power comes from the goddess Din, who made the Earth. While we don't know the exact amount of power Din put in this piece, let's just highball it and directly compare it to her. So the energy attributed to the Triforce of Power could be compared to the size and energy of a planet. However, the Chaotic Realm is an entire universe, completely mm. upheld by the power of the Chaos Entity. That is leagues yep. greater than the power Ganondorf possessed. So it definitely had a lot more juice to give. Try thinking of the Chaotic Realm and the Triforce of Power as batteries, which fuel Dracula and Ganon's abilities. Compared to each other, Dracula would be drawing energy from something like a car battery, while Ganondorf's would be more akin to a small double A. Wiz, I'll give you five bucks if you lick that battery. <laughs> Ganondorf <laughs> certainly held his own, but Dracula's more varied magic, greater regeneration, and enormous reserves of power sealed this desert warlock's fate. Of all the ways to go, that must have sucked. The big pig's chances were slim to gain none. <laughs> the winner is Dracula. <laughs> Did you know we've got a card and dice dueling game? Choose your Ooh. weapons, armor, and skills before diving into the fight of your life. Just don't eat the dice. They look like candy. They're not. Click the link below to get the death battle game right, right now. Episode 14. What is it going to be? Oh. Well, time to watch Mod Psycho 100. Well, that fight was freaking awesome. I've got to say, that 3D animation was absolutely spectacular. I'm so happy that they started trying new things where they're branching off to give different animators a chance. Uh, it's sort of a way to kind of take the workload off of their in-house animators, so that way we can have more variety when it comes to the fights, because that sprite team must be worked to the bone, having to constantly get out all of these fights that the 3D team just can't because it's too expensive. But I'm... So with that being said, I'm very happy that Ganon vs. Dracula exists in this capacity, and I absolutely love that finishing blow and the line that Dracula said. That was flawless. Oh my god, it was so funny and just badass. I'm still a bit confused, though, about the whole No Limits fallacy thing. Is that still a thing where Ganon can only be killed by holy weapons? I'm, I'm not really too sure about how all that works and how... The community feels and if bowser versus ganon is still like considered to be wrong because of that uh, I, I guess if you guys could give me some clarification i'd appreciate that but uh, thank you all for joining me for this reaction video i am probably going to i guess i now have a reason to watch mob psycho 100 <laughs> since he's going to be on next time it, it has been on my list for a while so uh, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.